Morning folks, Rich here. Well, it's morning where I am. Uh, no Puma hoodie, it's summer Puma t-shirt check. And uh, Jackman guitars behind me. So I watched this morning Rob Jackman put out a little video about Chapman Brand and, uh, um, and what's happening. And uh, it's, it's disappointing for me, but I totally get what he's doing. So if you know anything about the Chapman Brand or not, why have I said that? It doesn't matter. So they've always had a standard series and a pro series. So this is a standard series, that is a pro series. So you get one, depending on, on the model and, and when it came out, I suppose, a standard series would be say 500 pounds and a pro series, thousand pounds. And you'd get obvious upgrades for your thousand pound guitar. But the standard series, to my mind, has always been good. Pickups on some of them, perhaps not necessarily always to my taste. A QC, generally good and a decent guitar. But Rob has announced that the brand are now not doing a standard and a pro series. They're just concentrating on effectively like musician level instruments, pro level you know, instruments. They're more expensive ones. So I know they've they've got the new factory in India, which he said they're like Dean and BC Rich also use. And he did a really good sort of documentary on it. It's surprising how much of the guitar is actually hand finished in that factory. And it's the same with all of them. And he's been really pleased about the quality of what comes out there. Trevor Wilkinson is a consultant to that factory. And yeah, so you know, some of the guitars have come out of it lately, like the, the new ML3, which is now called the Lawmaker, with an Indian rosewood neck, the whole neck. You know, so they've got some nice stuff. So I, I get the, the feeling from what he's saying is the factory's got really good capabilities and they want to concentrate on that. Rob himself said, you know, here's a person who's sort of changed a bit on what they want to do. And also the market for more more affordable guitars is um, is really challenging. So they're concentrating on the, on just more expensive guitars, uh, and that that poses a, a couple of thoughts to me. Really, it's a it's a bit of a shame that that's now going to mean that the Chapman brand is prohibitive to a lot lot of people because you know a lot of people might spend five hundred pounds on on a guitar, or when they're on sale, which they often are. You might you know at the moment you can pick up a standard series from Andertons. I've only got a couple in, but for sort of three fifty. And, and that's it's a good guitar for, for that kind of money. It's a good guitar for the original price, I think. So, you know, people just aren't going to be able to do that anymore. So you'll, you'll be relying on people who might want interest in buying one second hand, a standard series, and thinking, oh, that's good. And then maybe at a later point, deciding to buy into the brand more and then spend a thousand quid on one, you know? So, yeah, that's a, I think that's a bit of a shame. There's going to be a lot of people who won't get to taste the Chapman brand and what they're all about now because a thousand pounds is just too much so their, their pro series have generally been sort of about 800 to sort of 1300. I'd be interested to see how often they discount and sale things as well they do tend to bring up uh, a bunch of new guitars and then within three months quite heavily discount them so you know I, I'm not too sure why they're doing that whether they're perhaps producing too many guitars in one go and thinking, oh, we've got too many of these, we've got to discount them. But yeah, I think that devalues the brand a little bit, just my opinion. But one thing that Rob also said with them having just this one, one range is a bit easy for some of their dealers because they have minimum order quantities. So I suppose if you've got a standard and a pro range, that dealer's got to choose which actual model, which colour of those models, and then they've got to have a certain amount of those and a certain amount of these. And I think that's made it difficult for them. So just having one range makes that a bit easier too. So I get it, but then, you know, the question then is a thousand pounds, you've got even more choice, haven't you? Zoom at sort of 500 pounds, you've got a reasonable amount of choice. You've either got something like a really high spec Jet or Harley Benton, or you've got reasonably spec Squire and what else can you get for that? An Ibanez, I suppose, you might get, this one. So FFO might sneak in there. See, Chapman would still be, a decent better at 500 quid but 500 quid second hand you've got some other choices but thousands a much different much different game Ibanez do some great guitars for a thousand quid I wouldn't spend a thousand quid on a Fender particularly you get some okay specs but nothing that special but certainly Ibanez and there are some other brands for a thousand quid you get a lot and of course a thousand pounds you might be thinking what do I want second hand if you're an LP type of a player player uh, you might be thinking to yourself well do I want a, a Chapman Herald, which is the name for the new ML2, so their LP, for a thousand quid, or do I want a second-hand Gibson? Now, your, your Chapman, spec for spec, is still going to be a better guitar, but you know, you've know you got the heritage of Gibson, haven't you? And if you're an LP kind of a guy, 
there's a very good chance you'll think, oh, do you know what? I'll get a second hand Gibson Studio for, for a grand. It's out of tune all the time, it weighs a ton, but it's a Gibson, you know? So, yeah, and for me personally now, that also makes it a, a, a bit of a challenge because despite what you may or may not think, me and my wife, we're not made of money. She's very supportive of my guitars coming and goings. There are still a few standard series guitars that I like and, and may purchase at some point. On my list of sort of legacy guitars are the ones that I particularly want that are rare now, they're all pro series. But second hand, apart from one of them, they'll all probably, they won't cost as much as a new one. But anything new now is just gonna be out of reach for me, really. There are some of the new range, the thousand pound plus ones that I like, but you know, I can't just, well, it's one, the, the, the lawmaker that Rob had in the video is 1100 quid, lovely guitar, and but even if that gets discounted, you know, oh, and that's another thing actually, they might not discount quite so much now they've got that range kind of sticking to there. These are for gigging musicians or whatever, but so I'm just not gonna be able to buy them. So yeah, it's a shame really. So my thought process here is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I can't not can't not buy new guitars. I might buy. Uh, mm, don't know. Might be some Harley Bentons coming back in on the on the scene, especially their LPs. I don't know. Anyway, what what do you think about Chapman doing this, going to just straight pro, or for that matter, you know, don't have to be necessarily about Chapman brand, but just a brand saying we are just going to do guitars for a thousand quid. Be interested in what you think about that.